Well, good morning, everybody. Certainly hope you all are having a good Sunday. Um, I'm enjoying the weather here. It's finally looking like and feeling like spring. Uh, sunny. We got a little bit of rain yesterday here in the city. But uh, overall, overall, a uh, nice day. It's about 40 degrees right now here in the Bluegrass City that I live in. Um, off today, and I was off yesterday, went bowling last night. Uh, first time, watched the Final Four, enjoyed the Final Four. And, um, yeah, yeah, the bowling, I threw a, I don't know, like a 95 or something like that. Hadn't bowled in over a year. Didn't My hand didn't bruise or get swelled up like it did last year. My God, you know. But, uh, yeah, well, so welcome. I want to appreciate everybody being here. And, uh, you know, it's early. It's 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So wherever you all are, I appreciate you being here. You could go anywhere else, especially this early or if it's in the afternoon where you are. Shout out to you. Go ahead and have a beer and think of your boy. You know what I'm saying? Think, think of your man right here, sitting down here chilling. Um, got a few topics to talk about, but the first thing we have to do is remember I promised you when I signed the affiliate marketing thing that we would have a commercial or an ad here. And uh, I certainly hope the video has popped up that there's an uh, ad to, not an ad, I'm sorry, there's going to be a, um, I don't know, I'm going to put do my own little ad here for something that I affiliated marketed with. As you can see right here, I have this brown box from our good friends at the Happy Smile Face right there. You all know what that is. But um, this is the Z, oh, we're about to unbox the ZLR, the silicone dish drying towel for your, for your kitchen. And it's eco-friendly and it will do, we're gonna see what it does because we're gonna demonstrate it here. Well, as you can see here, Oh, it's actually, look at that. It's actually bigger than I thought. <laughs> this is 12 by 16, and uh, this comes from ZRLL, and um, it comes in different colors. It comes in a different color pa palette, and uh, so it is um, It is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Shout out to ZLR, who said they were going to, you know, Pay a brother, and that's just a little more money for the PC bill. So we're gonna open it. We're gonna demonstrate it. Let's see here. Well, I think we're gonna open. There we go. You all know I like to tear things open like a five-year-old on Christmas Day, but we won't with this. Shout out to our friends at ZLR, and this is a silicone towel that is eco-friendly, as I said before. So we'll put it right there. That's a pretty good size. And again, as I said before, it has a, uh, it says, experience a clean, dry, cozy kitchen with them. So um, again, they come with a thanks. They have different plans on here. They have a creativity incentive plan. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> And a membership Sherry Bland. So, all right. So, then you get a discount. If you become a member, you get 3% to 10% off if that's the way you go. Now, let's demonstrate their product. You have here a typical plate that's wet. You can see the moisture on there. <laughs> Moist. So, we're going to just dry it. So, and we're going to sit it here for a little bit and see how it does. And I can actually feel it already working very well. So, yeah. So, this is uh, good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to keep on demonstrating it here to you. But this is just something when you take it out of a dishwasher, if it's not completely dry. And this is for people who still, you may not have a dishwasher, okay? And you're the dishwasher. And it's just better for you to... Use this towel, you just set it right there, and boom, you put your dishes on it, and it dries it. It actually is working pretty well. <laughs> and again, eco-friendly, very special thanks to ZLR for coming to the Porch Light Podcast, and uh, I signed the affiliated, I, this is like, I guess this is affiliated marketing is what they're calling it, so I'm new to it, uh, but this is my first thing, and I'm again, why did I choose this? Well, one, I, I have an apartment, and there I'm the dishwasher so this bodes well for me and if and again most of you all probably had dishwashers but if you do 
if you some dishwashers unfortunately don't get the dishes completely dry or when they come out they still are a little bit damp or moist i get i get to say moist by having this that's another reason why um if they are you just set it right here you set it on this um on this silicone plate here and it dries it and it's eco-friendly you can wash it in a washer in a washing machine in a dryer as well so yeah uh, wanted to make sure we get this up front and I do appreciate everybody over in the great land of China and yes we have completely sold out and now I am owned by the Chinese but I sh shout out to all you all for watching this and a big shout out to ZLR Z -L -R, uh, marketing I do appreciate them all right so let's go ahead and do get this off the screen here Put that one and that one. All right. So that's the end of our marketing ad. Do appreciate you guys. So let me go ahead and put this back where I got it. We're back. We have some topics to cover. And here, let me put this up as well. Don't need this. I don't need this anymore. All right. Now I'm back. <laughs> All right. So we had a, a question here. First things first, we have multiple things going on. Number one, you have uh, Xbox fanboys defending 30 FPS at this point. I mean, I never thought we'd see the day. I mean, after everything that was said with 12 T flops and VRS and VRR and all this stuff, all this cash ish, these guys talked. Okay. My towel is now more. You're right. That that drying pad is moist. It is. <laughs> so I, I get to say it now. I, I'm getting. I get in, in reimbursed to say moist. <laughs> so that's how that worked. But uh, shout out to all you all. So I hope you all look into if you you know if you still do the dishes the old fashioned way and or if your dishwasher doesn't get everything completely dry and you have to kind of sit them out your dishes out a little bit or use a tie you just sit them on there that's all so yeah and uh so certainly hope you all look into it make sure if you do um this cinema cinema uh, you know if you order it off of um off of amazon or something like that when you leave a uh when, you know, when you leave a comment, make sure you say you saw it here on the Porch Light Podcast with Craig the Tech Guy. That's it. That's all we can ask. So, but yeah, yeah, but we'll get a move on. Um, so the fact that you have Xbox fanboys now defending 30 FPS is, I never, I want to make this clear for myself. I never thought I saw, see that day. And, you know, you have ponies again, desperate for information spreading rumors about um about a playstation showcase in may which is next month and um i just think at this point that um and we had one of the uh one of these uh guys allegedly come out over the last 48 hours on their podcast and finally admit this guy literally said we won't say his name this guy literally said it's his job to get you excited and hyped for these for these products and because the product because he did not wait to see what the products were going to be doing both the series consoles and the playstation consoles he put out he gassed everything up and now he looks stupid that's that's what's happened and remember that's what we were saying over here is that ultimately we need to wait to see what's going to happen with the PS5, okay? And when the PS5, nobody knew what the games were going to do. Nobody knew what the tech was going to be able to do until we actually saw it running with the Epic gameplay demo four years ago. 
Uh, if you don't know what that demo is, that's the demo where it had the girl look like the Tomb Raider girl. That's what I call it, the Tomb Raider girl. And um, she took off flying and everything was being rendered in real time. They were using the PS5's SSD, things like that. If you don't know, that demo ran at, at 30 frames per second. So the first thing we saw ever running on a PS5 was 30 frames per second. However, there was clarification from Epic that said, well, we could have ran it at 30. I'm sorry, we could have we could have ran that 30 FPS at 60, but we didn't want to. We wanted the cinematic thing to go along with it. Okay. I mean, that's that's the way they designed their own demonstration. And um so but we at least and after that, the cold conversation changed between the, the dynamic between the PlayStation and the Xbox, and I literally kept saying, let's wait. Let, if, if you all were sub to me, I was I would be on other people's podcasts saying, damn, can we at least wait till uh, something comes out where we can see it, where Sony puts something out where we can see it? And uh, people were like, no, it's not going to happen. You know, so now Xbox we fanboys know. started the 30 FPS hate train last gen when they fell for the Xbox One X. All games true 4K 6.0 FPS, no compromises, BS marketing. Yeah, very good point. Shout out to JP Local for the five. That's a very good point. You know, so did did Microsoft lie about their marketing? Did they lie? Or, and it's okay, I'm telling you, as someone who has done marketing before, it's okay for them to mislead you. It's not, it's not legal for them to outright lie, but they can mislead you. You know, and tell you that's why you, you have you seen a commercial where they show you a hamburger, then you order the hamburger, it don't look nothing like it <laughs> because they're, the ad is misleading. What's up, Lee and Clay? So, yes, that that goes to the to the PC bill. Shout out to the to the uh, JP Loco, definitely supporting. And again, all we ask you to do is support with a like and a share. And if you want to go out of your way, which is that's what you guys do when you do a super chat, is that. You're going out of your way to help a, a, a further go a little bit further, and I do appreciate it. It's not needed, however. I don't care if it takes me two years to get my PC ready, but it's ready. You know, I just I'm waiting on my case to come in. You know how those people that deliver tell you it's coming on one day and it ain't coming to, and then all of a sudden you get the email that says we're sorry, but your package will not be. And again, I got a decent case. You all saw it. I don't know, Capono, did you see the case that I got? You know, it's for like 68, 70 bucks. I got did well. I did well. You know me. I wait. I always wait. I don't Capono, he he's playing big bank, take little bank out there. Talking about that 4K OLED 240 hertz. I I can't imagine what that price was. Uh matter of fact, Capono, how much was that? Go ahead and put that price in, if you don't mind. Or at least a price range. Give, give us a price range. You got to tell us about your ducats, about your money. But can you give us a price range on what you're saying in the chat? There's a price range. So, um, yeah, my 3060 a monster. Uh, you know what? I may step up and get the uh, get the get the 6700. Or not the 67, but um, I may step up and get the 3070. Hmm. See what I'm saying? It was twelve hundred. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I can see I can go buy that today, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money on a monitor. Um, how many of you all know that the forty-two inch? This is if you're looking for a TV, the forty-two inch um, LG C3, not C3PO. C3s are now on sale at Best Buy for eight ninety nine. That is the C3. That is the 42-inch C3. Okay? That is 42 inches. So that is, you can, so you can get a good, one of the better, and again, the C4, and shout out to, uh, was it KG Tech, uh, TV Tech? Uh, he did, he, I don't know if you all watched him last night, but he did, maybe it was Friday night or, or last night, or it was over the weekend. He did his update on the C4, and he's totally, blown away by it if you don't know lg c4 is their brightest tv is their brightest tv so capono said dealer is touching grass yeah remember when dealer and the rest of them told you all that to boycott 
um, the games because they're not taking advantage of the Xbox. Well, we're starting to find out that they were taking advantage of it. And I want to make this clear. I don't, I'm not sitting here, you know, punching air be, because of Xbox doing 30 frames per second. My entire thing is that because you because Xbox cannot mandate what a second or third party does. They can't. They can try. And they, that's how they got into it. With, is it layering games, the people who make Baldur's Gate? That's why they got into it with them is because they they did not. They wanted to mandate they do it for the Series S at 30. And they had their whole back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, yeah, it doesn't have the MLA on it. Yeah, that's true. But that's the C, the G4. We're talking about the, and not G43T, not G4 TV, uh, where Adam Sessler was on there looking like somebody's granddaddy. Uh, this is the C3. This is the one that came out last year that everybody was losing their mind. And you got to remember, there's the C, you know, you had the CX back in the day. I don't know if you remember that TV. Everybody seems to forget about that one. But who, the CX, put a one in the chat, you know, put a one in the chat for, uh, you know, give, give the CX his flowers. That was like the cool TV. Then you had the C1 and the C1 uh, and the B and the B1s came out. They were stripped down versions of the CX, okay, and uh, so and and they had a little bit better pictures. So Corey Matt said the C3 has a cap cap uh, compatibility 1440p mode, which works wonders for PS5 performance mode. It takes away the console level upscaling and makes games look a lot better with the. Four yeah, you're right. You're you're right. You're right. Um, that's why I'm recommending you all look into this TV. It's under a thousand dollars now. It's forty-two inches, and guess what? If you have a PC, you you can you can hook your PC up to to that TV. All right, and it's it's forty-two inch. So you have a forty-two inch game. You know you can HDMI two point one. And now you got to make sure your motherboard is a two point one. Okay, you got to make sure your motherboard does two point one. That's they conveniently forget to tell you that when they when they say go build a PC. So the TVs already do that. So I'm not sure how that works. I've read about it. I still don't understand how a 2.0 HDMI cable works with 2.1. There's a it does something. To, I don't know, right? But I am recommending you look into buying that TV. <laughs> YouTube stopped showing my stupid ads during live streams. It did? Okay. So I know the one stream we did a couple of weeks, the one we did a couple of weeks ago where I showed the Grand Theft Auto trailers uh, and um, the other trailer, that that stream got demonetized because <laughs> it had music on it. Remember I was saying to you, I was saying, uh, I was saying, this this is not, this is going to be demonetized, right? And it did. So somebody says they had the 55-inch C2 series. Yeah, well, now that series is two years or two generations behind. Now I have a B series, so my B series came out and the C2s were out. So I'm in the same situation. But uh and there is a B3, but it doesn't it, it's not that big of a difference. Like how the PS5 doesn't lose HDR in 1440p. Resolution the Xbox can't do Oh, I didn't know that. Well, again, that's something that I just learned. I did I thought HDR was always on. <laughs> I was wrong. So, okay, I was wrong. So, what message? If you play performance mode on PS5, don't have your PS5 set to automatic or 2160p, it will not select the 1440p option. Now, what are you saying? If you play in performance mode, so there is, a, he's talking about um, you can set your PS5 up to play to favor graphics or performance. That's actually in your settings. So, uh, can you break that down a little bit more? So, you unpack that a little bit more. Yeah, zero. So I didn't know that. I mean, that's new to me. So you got to talk to Capono about that. So the Xbox can only do HDR while 4K resolution is set. Really? I didn't. Again, that's okay. Well, see, we're learning something today. That's why we're here, right? And that's why I like you guys because you all always, always learn something every podcast. I've not left any podcast. I've, you all have always said something I did not know. <laughs> So that's good. That is good. You know, because that's what I that's what I want. I wanted to have, even though we're a smaller podcast, we have the smartest uh, listeners and watchers. Henceforth, I think that company, 
that ZLR knew I was talking about moisture all the time, and they get, they were like, well, you're perfect for our town. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, of course the best TV to have on your Sony PlayStation is a Sony TV. We, you all know that, right? You all know the best TV to have for your Sony PlayStation it is your, is a Sony TV. The two best TV, the, the best TV for an Xbox is the Samsung TVs. Those are the best TVs. All right. There's a reason why if you go into Best Buy, there's a reason why if I go to Best Buy, I should say I go to Best Buy, the Xbox is hooked up to Samsung TVs. Okay, they're showing you, you know, the sizzle reels and stuff like that. That's why. And, and Microsoft has what? They have a deal with Samsung. They've had a deal since the 360, okay? It, ain't, it wasn't rushed. It wasn't, oh, my goodness, we got to do something. No, 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 no. Microsoft has had a deal with Samsung since uh, the 360. So... This in the screen and video settings, if you have a compatible 1440p monitor or TV, you have to manually set the resolution to four. Yeah, I did that when I was, I didn't know I had it on 14. I forgot because remember I did the, uh, I can't say I did. One of you guys sent me the beta code for 1440p and I just forgot to turn it off. I'm like, damn, I've been playing 1440p for almost six months. I didn't know on my TV, right? So, but of course on my TV, it takes the 1440p resolution and it upscales it to 4K or as close as it can get to it. That's my understanding of it. Bam. And the moist is gone. Yeah. I mean, if I walk back in there, I bet you the moisture is gone. Shout out to JP for the big body too, because anything you all donate is big body for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got my case coming in. Appreciate you guys help on that. Remember the way I crowdfund my PC builds is, you pay, you all donate up to 50% and I pay the, or 40% and I pay the rest of it. So I got my case coming for the 3060, the new Ryzen CPU, the memory and the 55 Prime, the Asus Prime B550 plus motherboard. That's what's going in to the new one. So Sony is done making OLED TVs. They're now doing OLED 4000. Yeah. Have you seen those? That's some of the clip they show. I saw one. It was at some city by the sea at dusk and they were doing fireworks. Oh my God. That's, that's the TV I wanted. I'm like, if this TV comes down on, it was like $1,300 at 42 inch. I'm like, I can't pay that much for, for a TV at 42, but, um, well, you know, for a TV at 42, but, if it comes down, remember I said, if it comes down under a thousand, I'll get it. And I kept going. It wasn't there. So yeah, 2023 is Sony's last year of OLED. So that's why they're coming down in price as well. That's why they're coming down in price as well. So again, I highly recommend you look at the, uh, LG C3. It's under a thousand dollars. That's 42 inches. So it ain't this big. Ah, I'm not getting, yeah, I agree, but you can still get the C2. And um, I mean, you can still get the C2s if you can find them for about, you might be able to find one for $7.99 on sale. Just so you know. Just so you know. And um, so, but moving on, moving on to kind of what I want to talk about. You all know me. We had to do a sidebar there. Um, we have uh, PlayStation has, had already announced that they were going to have a smaller first party output. Matter of fact, I think their last first party game that's been announced for this year is MLB the show. It is MLB the show. And uh, which is out, which is from a first party studio. So you had, and again, you have to remember Sony only generally put out two first party games a year. That's what they're averaging. So, and, and people got the third party um stuff that's exclusive they they acted like it was a first party game and you have to remember the big year and i said this already the big year for sony 2018 you had god of war which was first party you had detroit become human third party you had spider-man third party you had mlb the show first party okay 
So that's on average what we're getting this year. We got The Last of Us remaster. Why did they do a remaster? Because, excuse me, it allows the studio to take advantage of the PS5 hardware. What was you all's complaint? What was you all complain, complaining about? You all were complaining that the developers need to take full advantage of the hardware. That's what they do with the remaster. I don't know if you all have the type of hardware I have. That's the first place I have to start. I can't assume you all have the same stuff I have. If you have an, if you have an OLED and you play The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, if you play The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, remastered with all the bells and whistles that they put on there, you will be surprised. What year was that? 2018. Now, somebody said also Concord. You're right, but that, but Concord's not out yet. That doesn't mean it won't come out, though. But And if it does, fine. That'll be the third game. So, you, you have to understand that. That they've never put out a ton of first-party games. They just haven't. I mean, they haven't. I remember having the PS4, and they put out... I remember they put that, that first year they did. They had um oh, what was the name of that game? Little Big Planet. Then they put out the Street Fighter game. Then they put it in MLB the show. Then they put out the remaster for The Last of Us. Then they put out um Oh, what's the name of that game? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Infamous Second Son. They that that all came out in two thousand like and whenever the PS4 launched. The very next year, 2014 or 15, something like that, those games all came out. And then you had Until Dawn, which is a which is not a first party game. Until Dawn, I think, was one of the first games they launched. You know, oh, they also had Kill Zone. So they did kind of stack it. But once they got the plane, I say this when Sony taxis out of the runway, taxis down the runway, you gotta get them before they they lift off the ground. If you don't, it is it is there. Yeah, kills on the that. Yeah, but I'm talking about the launch window, which they considered up till May. They had all that come out. That was 14. That was abnormal. That's not normal. That is not normal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then their big, you know, so then their bigger games came out. You know, Zero Dawn came out in 17. God of War 2018. So you see what I'm saying? Naughty Dog did Uncharted 4. That was 2016. They did Uncharted Lost Legacy. That was uh 2000 and um that was what 2017? I can't remember when Uncharted Lost Legacy came out. But um I'm just saying that uh they just did not do that. And now that the hardware has increased, and I'm gonna be like, oh, take advantage of it, it's gonna take them longer to do their times. You know, their devs their day days gone, that was 2009 or 20, wasn't it? That was 2020, I think. So, but again, 2020, they ain't put out a whole lot. So they didn't, yeah, somebody said Rezo. Like, yeah, fair enough. So, and again, they launched PS5. They had a lot of games. Miles Morales. Um, it was a Miles Morales. They had that game with it. Returnal. That was out. Kana Bridge of Spirits. That was all out. So again, and you have to remember, Returnal came out. That was a... That was an independent game. They did not own that studio at the time. You had the Blue Point game that they did the remaster to whatever the hell that game was. Uh, what was the thing where that dude, that kid had that dog? It was something like that. They couldn't get it to work. Then they finally got the work. Then they got it. I mean, it was something weird. So, but my point to you guys is that, um, you know, Days Gone was 19. Okay. Um, and again, I like Days Gone. There are things I didn't like about it. Okay, I didn't like the um, the fact that they didn't change clothes. I didn't like that. I mean, I I think maybe on PC they may have modded it to where you do change clothes. I mean, even it with the old, even with the PS2 with Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Tommy Versetti had like what six outfits he could put on. And that was like a big deal. Like, oh, this is so cool. I mean, we were happy about six outfits, right? So, uh, yeah, Infamous, Infamous First Light. Yeah, all that was, was uh, yeah. And Infamous First Light took full advantage of the HDR. Kept hearing about HDR, HDR. 
and when you saw first light, it's like, oh my god, this this is this is a this is nice. But um, my my point to you is that they've it's they've always been this way, and um, it doesn't mean that we won't get Concord or we won't get an update on fair games, but. This rumor, and once again, I didn't start the rumor, and I we try to stay away from them here, but it, just imagine if you get paid to podcast and you're getting no information. You're getting no information. So this one person was saying that they want to see nothing but the new stuff. You know, where are these games? Because again, they're, they said their job, and I kid you not, they said, <laughs> and I'm paraphrasing, you know, my job is to sit here and get you excited and hyped up <laughs> for this hardware. I promise you that's what this person said, which goes into what we have discussed already, which was what was our hypothesis, that they're, they want to go ahead and get you excited for the hardware so that you give them donations and super chat money, and then they, they do what they do with the donations. Okay, you can tell when people are being or doing that when they don't give anything back. That's why we're doing our giveaway. I get paid uh the twelve. Yeah, we're doing two two cold giveaways, and I might you know me I may I may walk up with a big time hard on and say I'm gonna give away Stella Blade. I'm really thinking about getting Stella Blade and just giving it to one of the members for being a member. I'm I'm thinking about it. So I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but I'm definitely going to give away some codes, you know. So, and whether it's three, three codes for PlayStation Plus, whether it is a month for premium, I don't know how to do that, but I don't know if that is that separate so that you all can try premium if you haven't. Um, so um, also, I didn't know this. PlayStation has NBA 2K, the Kobe Bryant edition. That was in plus. I didn't know that <laughs> because I don't really game during the week. And so I all my stuff updates on like the weekends, right? Because I'm busy during the week. And, and I purposely make sure I don't, I only game maybe two to three hours a day. So like today I want to play Hell Divers. I know I missed J-Dub yesterday. I tried to play in the afternoon. I don't think he was available for another three or four hours. And I went bowling. So, <laughs> so if anybody wants to play Hell, Hell Divers, just send me an invite. And uh, that's the cool thing with the PlayStation. It is you can just jump out of one game and then go to the other one and start playing. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was really cool. I did that the other day. I was playing Final Fantasy VII, and I think Jez would grind my gears. He was like, "No, nah, let's play Redfall." Oh no, I'm sorry. Let's play Hell Divers. Like, all right, let's play. And if you don't know, the girl from um. From Stella Blade, she's a hell diver. They showed that's the beginning of the game. She showed her hell diving. So, um, said people tried to judge Godfall on, on story and not being a looter. Yeah, that's again that didn't work well. They they may be able to retool it now. I think if it came out now, people would be much more open to it. So, but they aren't. So, but back to what we're kind of talking about here. Uh, so Sony having a smaller first party output in 2024 didn't this happen last year as well when um last year last generation as well when pretty much they really didn't have a whole lot in from 19 to 20 19 to 20 because they were they were prepping for I mean they got God of War they won game of the year for God of the War 2020 last of us part two I think won game of the year matter of fact they had they had Ghost of Tsushima, and they had The Last of Us Part Two. They were both nominated for Game of the Year. And remember Xbox? I still remember that that day because Xbox didn't have anything, and these guys, they were just depressed. I'm like, as long as you like what you're playing, well, what about Forza? I'm like, dude, that's a driving game, right? So, so they're going to have a smaller footprint, and if we get three games, first-party games, I think that's good. Now, that's my opinion. That is my opinion. I'm not going to argue with it. You say that's, that output is unacceptable. That's fine, too. But I, I'm trying to... What I'm really hoping people understand is that Sony, for the most part, 
on average, they, they would do one. They always do MLB the show, Triple A. Then they they sprinkle in one or two more games, give or take. And then the rest of it is second and third party. They may have an exclusive with it. So like this year, Final Fantasy Rebirth is a third party game that they have exclusive. They do. So and Hell Divers is a third party game that they have exclusive. They help make the game. How do we know that? Because when it comes on, it says Sony Interactive Entertainment presents SIE. That means they funded it. Same with uh, Stella Blade. They funded it. Rise of the Ronin. Again, so you have Rise of the Ronin. You're going to have Stella Blade. You have MLB The Show. You've had Grand Red Fantasy. You've had The Last of Us Part Two. I mean, what, am I missing anything? I say that's pretty good. And that's since the first four to five months of the year, you've had a game out every month. But you're being, But somebody is saying, where are the games? I don't, I just, I don't get that. That's just me. I don't understand that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Redfall was a cash grab that um, even the developers were like, yeah, this game is not ready. And Microsoft said, we'll put it out anyway. Then you can just add the 60 FPS mode. And that just goes to show you that Microsoft is targeting 4K native at 30 frames per second. Uh, Flight Simulator. 30 frames per second. That's it is that it being 30 frames per second is, and it's a first party game. Now it's ported to them from PC, but it's still, you know, they pretty much have that thing. I've heard, I have been told that that game is coming to PlayStation with VR support. So talk about the business of games, but don't speak about business in business terms. Yeah, it's, it's a business, but, um, I just think a lot of people have been misled into thinking there was, there's always, to me, there's plenty to play, but I grew up with an Atari 2600 and I was happy. We had three or four games. I was very happy to play Space Invaders, Missile Command, and Asteroids, and Freeway, and all that stuff. What's up, Alfonso? You know, that that's what, what, that's what we did, okay, as kids. And then we went outside and actually touched the grass. And, ch- and followed insects back to their hives and all that kind of stuff. So we were boys. That's what boys did, right? We rode our bicycle. Granted, we couldn't leave the street. Then we took our adventure when uh, my friend uh, had a Doberman pincher, and his mom would give us a dollar each to walk down to the store. Well, they would give him $5, but to walk down to the store, and we would go buy a candy called uh, a now later. <laughs> That's what it was called. <laughs> we would eat now later, but we called it an adventure because we would walk down the street and we had to cross the street and we had the dog with us. And, um, you know, it was fun. It was fun. 2020, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, but that's, that is, uh, oh, yeah, that's a PS4 game. Neo 2 is a PS4 game. Dreams, yeah, that was first party. Last of Us Part 2, yeah, we talked about that MLB. Predator Hunting Grounds, again, that's that's wasn't first party. Now your Bucks Nexus was PS5, though, right? I mean, it may have been cross-gen. So, but yeah, we have three Spider-Man games. All of them are good. You know, when I went back and replay, like people were saying to me, if you go back and you replay these PS4 games, or the PS5, the PS4 games, if they put PS5 uh, features on, you're going to love it. And I, I have. I'm still playing The Last of Us Part 2. And, um, you know, I'm still playing Final Fantasy, uh, the, re- the remake. Haven't gotten to Rebirth yet, which I keep hearing Rebirth is the game of the year. So, okay. You don't think first Flight Sim is first party? Um, well, it's from a Serbo that they publish it to Microsoft, and then Microsoft publishes it to their platform, right? Well, maybe it's a publishing deal they have. So I think it's a publishing deal. Bug Snacks was exclusive to PlayStation, but it, it was PS5, right? Yeah, that was part of, part of their launch too. But my point there, I don't think it was. I don't think it was considered a AAA game, and I'm not discounting it. I thought the launch of the PS5 was actually better than the PS4 launch, but the PS4 they had a lot of stuff um, out, and a lot of people just didn't, 
you know, they just kind of like, eh. but I thought Sucker Punch's game, that's the first Sucker Punch game I played was Infamous Second Son. They fund their servo to make it. Yeah, okay, so it's very similar to what Sony did with Helldivers. They funded Arrow Arrowhead uh, games to make the game. So they funded it. So, like, you know, like Sony helped fund Final Fantasy. They helped fund that game. So, but, um, so, but I, my understanding is, is that that game is coming to PlayStation with VR support. So that's what I was told. So we'll have to wait and see. I think that's going to be, and that'll be announced by like, uh, by the fall, by fall that it come. So it, 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 I don't know about it being 30 or 60. I don't know. I certainly hope with VR, it has to be 60 minimum, right? So there you go. Um, 2020 was a great year for PS gamers. Well, yeah, they did okay. They did okay. They had a lot of exclusives, but they weren't just Sony games, right? But my whole point is that Sony has always supplemented the the two or three AAA games they put out with second and third party exclusive content at games. So the Intergrade was that 16 games in 2020. Yeah, they did well. They did well. That's right. I forgot about Final Fantasy Intergrade. And then, of course, they did. we had Final Fantasy... Uh, the other Final Fantasy game that came out. So, right on your mind tomorrow, Don. Yeah, well, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you tonight, definitely. That's um, it's that's that's hard stuff. I, I that's hard stuff. So, um, so um, but um, you know, just just remember that they they told us they were going to be smaller outputs. I don't know why people got mad. Allegedly, people were upset. I. I didn't see a ton of people being upset. That's why I think it's a it's a bunch of fanboys that uh six years gone quick. Yeah, yeah. And the first year uh, I can't say I know when my dad passed. The first year was the hardest because it's the first everything: first Thanksgiving, first Christmas, first Easter. Uh, it just it, it was tough. It was first New Year's. I mean, it was tough. So I definitely can appreciate what you're going through. That Sony PlayStation usually has a state of play in June. I mean, again, I'm not here to say that they won't, but I'm not seeing. I I try not to report that stuff. Arrowhead is contracted to make Helldivers two. Helldivers two is wholly owned by Sony. Not, yeah, and Sony, like I said, funded the game so that they could make the game. Yeah, that Arrowhead, Arrow, Arrow. Yeah, Sony contracted Arrowhead to make that game for them. So I, I think Microsoft has the same type of deal. Microsoft um, has this, you know, they they help fund Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, Servo helps publish, They Microsoft publishes the game. So that's, maybe I said that, I maybe didn't say that very clear. It's, it's early in the morning. So, um, <laughs> so forgive me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's my understanding of that. They own the IP, not the studio. Yeah, and the same thing with their Serbo. Microsoft, I think, owns Microsoft Flight Sim. They contract their Serbo to make it. Then Microsoft turns around and publishes it. And it's the same. And I, my understanding is that's the same thing with Hell Divers too. Sony owns it. They own Hell Divers, and they contracted a second third-party studio, whatever you want to call it, to. Uh, Oh, your best friend's grandma passed away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. And whether it, it seems weird, um, they may not say a whole lot to you at the, at the funeral, but rest assured, they know that you're there and it's just, there's a, there's a big process going on, you know, with, with, with that. So yeah, it's a big process. So, but, um, but that's, that's what we're seeing now. So, I don't know uh, why are the ponies talking about the showcase rumors because they got nothing else to talk about. The podcasting ponies. I want to make this clear. Remember, the ponies are the podcasters who don't really play the games a whole lot. Okay. And so they're, and, and again, I really don't know what they're going to do because the, um, <laughs> um, because they're going to have to get to a point where th the fact that Sony does not have, a whole lot coming out this year. Big games. I'm talking about big games, okay? 
Um, and who knows? Concord may be huge, right? Uh, they're stuck. They're, and remember, we talked about this. That was our hypothesis, right? Is that these guys are going to ha have to just start making stuff up. These guys are going to have to start making stuff up. And, you know, the, and then you add to the fact the console war is over. That's one less thing that they are talking, that they can talk about. Like, yeah, the console war is over. Sony won that. Sony and, only a Sony pays for publisher exclusivity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, no like I said, uh, Sean Layton, his, his definition of first party, um, his definition of first party was different than mine. He said anybody who's just exclusively making a uh, game for you, he considers first party. So, because they're only making the game for you, even though it's an independent studio. But to me, that means you have a, you have an exclusive publishing deal with that studio. Now, and so the, the Spider-Man in 2018, at the time, Sony did not own Insomniac. They didn't. They didn't own Insomniac. So people got to remember that. Now, when Insomniac made Miles Morales, I do believe that they had already bought Insomniac Games. So Insomniac Games' first official first-party game for, for Sony under the Sony umbrella, SI umbrella, is Miles Morales Spider-Man, which, again, was a really good game. It was a really good game. Oh, I saw it. First party, Sony owns the IP in the studio. Second party, Sony owns the IP, but not the studio. Third party, IP and studio not owned by Sony. And Sony pays for publish, publisher exclusivity. Yeah, and Sean Layton uh, disagreed with that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I What you just said to me makes more sense than what Sean Layton said. Um, my, I thought Sony owned the Bloodborne name, just like they own the Death Stranding name. But Kojima Studios is contracted to make the game. It's like, it's like, it's like Kojima conceived the idea. Sony paid. It's just, it was weird. But to me, that's a second party game. Sony owns the IP, but not the studio. But that's the way I, I agree with that. But the way Layton would say is, well, they're only making the game for Sony, so we're looking at it as a first party. Yeah, okay. That's why that's why they get first party treatment. Okay? Uh they don't own the people who made uh Kana Bridge of Spirits, but they gave Kana first party treatment. They gave Bloodborne first party treatment. They gave Spider-Man when it was made in 18 first party treatment. Again, I'm not I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that's what they did. So um uh, I mean again, that's just the kind of way they did it. But my point to you is that there, Sony is always supplemented with second and third party games through exclusivity deals. And a lot of people may have forgotten that they didn't own Detroit Become Human Studio. They didn't. They didn't own the studio who did Until Dawn. They didn't. Okay? They didn't. So, I'll oh, shout out to uh, Darth Set 24 and uh, Nature Boy 601. Woo! Uh, they both did subscribe, so congratulations, appreciate you. Yeah, they don't own Quantic Dream. They 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 struck a deal with Quantic Dream, and when Quantic Dream did Heavy Rain, Sony said, not only do we want Heavy Rain, but we want the next one or two games you got coming out, which was Beyond Two Souls, which I thought was suck. Like I only played it for twenty minutes. Like this sucks. It sucks. But then Detroit Become Human, I was like, oh, this is actually really good. So, uh, but again, they didn't own, they didn't own the studio that made Detroit Become Human. And remember, I thought that was a mistake. I said, they should buy Quantic Dream. I literally was saying that. I was like, yeah, y'all need to buy Quantic Dream. You know, but they didn't. They didn't. So, and uh, it is what it is. And it's okay. But. Uh, that was a 2018 game, and that still was that was my game of the year. It didn't even smell game of the year, but that was my personal game of the year. I'm like, Jesus, this is one of the best games I played. Like I said, I still don't know what happened to Car and that little girl after they left that mansion. Like I, I thought I saw her walking down the street. Maybe that's what happened to her. I don't, I don't know. I didn't see that ending, or maybe it's a bad ending that they got. I don't know. So. But I didn't know the little, you all told me the little girl was a robot. I did not know that. I mean, it's like, what, what, the, what? 
you know. <laughs> so, uh, look at the interview again. Layton did not say that. He said he said they treat second and third party games like first party, but for Sony, it has never mattered. Well, that's what I just said. They even if it's, even if, as long as they're making it exclusively for them, they give them first party treatment, even though it's a second or third party studio. They still give them the same treatment. That's why Insomniac joined. Because it's not like they were hands off or they were, oh no, nah, y'all have here's your here's your budget, here's your this. You need to report it that. They simply just said that you're gonna have to, you know, they simply said this is not going to do that. David Cage doesn't want to be owned, he runs a first pass. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I still think it was a mistake them not trying to get them. And maybe they did. I, I always want to make sure that I caveat it by saying, well, maybe they did try to buy them. But they just couldn't get a deal done, and that's fine too. So, is Bloodborne a first or second party? It's it's I, my understanding about Bloodborne again is that Sony owns the IP, but it was made by another studio. That's my understanding of it. So, and it's up to the studio. Finally, said it's up to Sony to or to ask us to do another Bloodborne two because Sony owns the IP. So shout out to Nature Boy. He says, man, why don't people even listen to console-centric channels and especially Xbox knowing full well neither camp don't even play the game? Well, again, because it's about, it's just about the console war, which is over, and you're you're seeing these guys who console warred trying to make the change right now. Trying to make the change right now. I've been on for about, I, be, I came on at 9.30, 35 and I watched the women's games uh UConn Iowa was rigged I didn't like that call man but why do people even listen to console centric out. channels and especially Xbox knowing full well neither camp don't even play the games I my theory on that is um when you it's a gig economy and when people and I mean make this clear when when people who look like me find a niche to make extra money, they're going to just keep hammering it. That's that, That's my hypothesis. I did watch the women's game. Uh, I, did, I didn't like the call. Uh, but UConn, UConn could not make – when they needed to make baskets, they could not make baskets. They should have won that game. I, I think that um, – I and I said this, that that women's championship game is today. And um, I think South Carolina has the better team, but – uh, Iowa has the best player in college in women's college basketball. So, yeah, I do agree that exclusives are how they differentiate. Yeah. So, PlayStation doesn't care about first, second, or third party games. They care about exclusives. Well, that it's all, it's all one and the same thing. Yeah, Caitlin, the last uh, three games has been. I mean, she's the best player in female college basketball, so she's the best player. So um, I don't know what South Carolina is going to do because South Carolina is undefeated. They're the best team in college basketball. They're the first female team, I think, since UConn to go uh, to the championship game undefeated. So um, we're going to see. We're going to see how that plays out because I'm, I'm going to watch. It starts at 3 o'clock, I think. It's on ABC. So I will watch that. So just to see how that plays out. So, but yeah, Kaylin Clark is, she's a good basketball player, okay? She's a good basketball player and uh, very tough to guard, always moves without the ball, very smart, always makes the right play. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how that how that plays out. So first time you watch a basketball game outside of the NBA. Women's basketball, especially the tournament, is actually good. So it's actually, it's actually the tournament's, have been good. Now, the men's tournament last night I thought was real good. Um, the two best teams won. I thought Alabama put up a good fight. They just did not have that third score that they needed. Somebody you know, somebody else needed to step up besides Sears, and they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. So, And give UConn credit. Every time Alabama made a run at UConn, and it, UConn was, it looked like they were wobbly, they go on their own run, but that's they are talented. That is a very talented basketball team. So, um, we'll have to wait and see. I think it's going to be an exciting championship game for both the men and women. I'm excited about both. 
Used to love Circuit City. Yeah, me too. I love me some Circuit City. But um, the Xbox fanboys are now defending 30 FPS. I just, I just personally never thought I'd see today. I just never thought I'd see today when that would happen. And now it is, well, the engine, they can't play the engine at 30 FPS. It's like, okay, if, if Hellblade was being made by a third or second party, it's not that big a deal. But the fact this is a first party studio, that is a letdown and a half. I don't care what you say, your first party studios should always have some type of performance mode, even if it's 40 FPS open frame. Even if it's that, you it should do it. <laughs> I underestimate the cap of the Xbox. No, I don't actually. They're trash. They are, they are trash content creators too. But the PlayStation community needs to be able to move on. But the PlayStation fanboys, they out here lying too about this. But they're making up rumors too because they got nothing else to talk about. So it's like, okay, imagine, like I said, being a podcaster, dependent on quote unquote, getting you excited and hyped up about hardware and then not, you know, say things like, you know, we may see PS5 Pro at this at this uh, event. What event? There's been nothing announced. There has been nothing announced. Yeah, instead of 12 T flops, it's just flops. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with the T flops. Um, you know, it is now. At first, it was we're going to blame the developers for not taking advantage of the console, but it looks like the developers were taking advantage of the console. The console simply cannot do 60 frames per second it can't and it's starting to be an it's starting to be an anomaly when the xbox does output at 60 for it for a, for a xbox centric games first party games third party they do all the assassin's creed games 60 frames per second so uh it's nice to discuss but until sony says that the, yeah i don't i don't really try but again they got nothing, and so that's going to lead them to saying, well, are we going to see Ghosts of Tsushima too? We're going to maybe see this game. We're going to maybe see that game. And that leads them to the road of disappointment. Then nothing happens, or if something does happen, um, it's not what they told you it could be. And because of that, they come out and they try to blame Sony. And it's like the reason why you're let down is because you ginned up the event. That's what happened. That's what happened. So both Walmart's local to you have full cases of Slim PS5. Yeah, I was at uh, Best Buy the other day, and they literally, you know, where they keep the PS5 and the Xboxes at, you have to grab the ticket now. I think you grab a ticket, and you go up to the service desk at Best Buy, and you just say, I want this. And it'll take the ticket. They'll ring it up. They'll bring it out for you. Make sure that's what you want. Then they'll charge you for it. So, so yeah, we that they there is no more um, demand as far as they've met the demand. They've met demand. So, yeah, tomorrow's the eclipse. Make sure you don't look right at it; it hurt your eyes. And uh, this is a total eclipse of the heart. So we're finally. And uh, if you're in the total path of darkness, like we're not, not where I'm at. It's good, but uh, if you have a dog or a cat. Make sure you're with them because they will start acting crazy. So, as PS5 is overperforming in spec ratio, is it overperforming or has it always been able to do this? See, how do we know it's overperforming if we didn't see it performing at all? Maybe it's always been intended to do this. Mark Cerny said, don't get caught up in numbers and T-flops because that's not a good way to determine performance. That's pretty much what he said, and that's what we're seeing. You know, and yes, Xbox has more stock RDNA 2 features, but PS5 has more custom features. And like I said before, it's like having a car, and the Xbox has a stock car with stock parts where with no modifications, whereas that the PlayStation has a car that's modified. It's like if you play Gran Turismo or whatever, Forza or whatever racing game, Need for Speed, 
when you put your car in the garage and you start taking parts out, you're modding your car. You're modifying the car. You know, you put it, you put, instead of having the uh, regular muffler, you put the racing muffler on it. And, you know, then you put the spoiler on the car. Then you change the tires. You put, you take off the regular tires. You put on racing tires. But Xbox isn't doing that. They're just saying, here's your car. Sony said, okay, here's your car, but it's, it's modded. So devs don't want to have to make multiple versions of the game. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. They don't want to have to spec down to the lowest level. I agree because it or or come up to the next level. It is we we will spec it for this console, but for your like like Lono with Reforged Gaming was saying that he accepted the fact that his Xbox is, is going to be treated like second class, his Xbox One X. So somebody outside gamer <laughs> laming. Yeah, yeah, look, I I've said before I ain't gonna say the man's name anymore. Um the fact of the matter is he thinks it's his job to get you excited about the hardware. And when there's no hardware, nothing to talk about, he's now screaming, well, where are the games? We, I need to see the games. We need to see the game. And my understanding is he finally is starting to say I, I, I more because he only speaks for himself. And I put that on his Twitter page. And I said, you need to just speak for yourself. You do not speak for me or anybody else. If you want to see something, you need to say, I want to see and fill in the blank. But he doesn't speak for, for anybody but himself, and that goes for everybody. We can only speak for ourselves. If you have a wife and a child, um, or you have a husband, you they if you want to speak for them, that's fine. If me and my girlfriend go out to eat, I will order for her. Well, what do you want? And she'll tell me, oh, I think I'll have this, and, she, and the lady's going to have that. So... Um, and that's one thing, but that's as far as it goes. That's why I told you all about the TV at Best Buy, the C, um, that, uh, C3, that's 42 inches. That's, that's it. That's all I can tell you. Do I recommend that you buy it? Well, I recommend that if you are, um, wanting a good OLED TV for under a thousand dollars, I recommend that you look into that TV. <laughs> Your wife is the boss at your house. She makes more than you do. Oh, well, you're in an upside-down relationship then. So, <laughs> ugh. So, the Xbox S is holding back the X. It's about maintaining parity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that to me is what you're starting to see, but that's what the late, great Optimus Code said. You know, and remember, we were told, oh, they could just scale, they could just scale. And Optimus Code, rest in peace, said, not the way this is going to work. That's not the way they're going to work. So, yeah, I mean, again, we know that the Xbox people had influencers, and those influencers were in a para, parasocial relationship with Xbox. So, <laughs> he said he's got a sugar mama. Okay. <laughs> hey, as long as the bills are paid, right, and everybody's happy. So... But hardware, we should not... Like the PS5 Pro. Um, which Sony has not announced yet. But everybody's assuming what it can and cannot do. So it's kind of like, okay, my understanding is here's what it's supposed to be able to do, but until we see it doing that, it's all just rumor. It's all just rumor. I mean, they're going to have to come out. They may have to show us some first-party games running better. Right Here it is with this on. Here it is on a Sony. I mean, the TV they'll show it on to be a Sony 4K OLED or a mini OLED. They may say, here's the PS5 regular with God of War 2000, I don't know, 18. And, but here it is on with God, you know, with the new PlayStation. It may look a lot better. I, you know, it, something like that. You know, or God of War Ragnarok. You know, here it is like that. Console inclusions need to be driven out again. I agree. I agree. But, but to me, they cannot influence you if you have a strong mind. You know, people were telling me about Mindshare. That literally sounds like something from the video game XCOM. We had to break into the base and steal the Mindshare. There is no such thing as Mindshare. And if somebody said, well, no, you got to understand, you know, Samsung and Android has Mindshare over Apple. And it's like, no, it doesn't. Apple's phones are too expensive. <laughs> Backwards compatibility is game preservation. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. 
But another way to preserve games is to buy the hardware that the game came out on. That's another way to do it, too. <laughs> mind shares do sex. Yeah. Yeah, it, to me, there's no such thing as mind share. But, okay, if they say it is. I'm like, okay, I'm nobody, I don't know how we're getting to that point. So, where somebody else can influence you to go buy something. I remember the Xbox pot, uh, the Xbox Community Hour. I was asking about Titanfall. This was years ago, and these Xbox guys were literally saying Titanfall has a campaign, and it didn't. They it did not have a campaign on. It was always online. You call in the B two and get one man army. So, and they were just they were just lie. It's like, damn, why are you online like this? <laughs> they men should control everything. Well, I mean, you should be ahead of her, yeah. But I mean, if you if you if it's working, then it's working. But yeah, for the most part, uh, women want to date and marry hypergamously. So, but they just don't like the power dynamic that leaves. So, if it's working, it's working. So, same to TF two got f by what by Apex. Uh, I think we may see a Titanfall three. I think we may see a Titanfall 3, but I, I like Titanfall 2. Thought it was okay. It was a good game. But um Yeah, I don't get the um um uh I, I certainly hope you all are starting to see this now. Um the the same people who told you that these kind I mean, at no point in time um do I recall that they said that everything was going to be 60. I know PlayStation Mark Cerny specifically said we have to wait and see what the developers do with the tech. Now, I do think Aaron Greenberg said some stuff, but he is in marketing and he doesn't know what they're going to be capable of doing. So I, so I said, do you all think they lied? Or And so I, I that's why I said marketers can mislead you. It's, it's not that Xbox doesn't have games running 60 or 120. They do. They just don't. They have more 30. That's what they're targeting with their first party. And that's if you're not OK with that, then yes, if you want to um, if you all want to um, play their games at 60, they're pretty much saying you have to get a PC. And I'm seeing a lot of Xbox guys buying PCs. One guy literally said traded in my Xbox, got a PC, I've already signed up for Game Pass, same account. I'm good. So. I signed up for Game Pass again, and I'm getting this error code. Maybe, maybe you all know about this error code. It is, uh, I'm going to put it in the chat. Let me see if I can find it again. Okay, it is 0x8, 0, 0, 0, 0, I'm sorry, 0, 0, 0, 007, 0, 0, 0, 0005. I can't fix that code on my PC, and it's pissing me off. I can't, it won't let me download games on Game Pass. I can still, it works with EA app fine. I downloaded a couple of EA games, but damn. You stop supporting Game Pass, you don't want unfinished games. Yeah, and, and again, understand, there. this this whole uh, console war has been about what the future was going to look like. And you had a group of people who said the subscription service is the future, and they were willing to take less. Okay, they were willing to deal with games that uh, were were incomplete or not correct or not finished in order to play at a cheap entry rate. That's what they were willing to do. And there was another group of people who said, no, I'm not going to pay for something and then not get it at the optimum level. And that's what this whole thing was about. That's what this whole thing was about. So we still don't know what the new PS CEO will do. He may see the horizon crack 30 minutes, the sign to reduce PC for, well, that's not what he said. He said they were going to, um, I think they're just going to increase it, meaning that they're going to go to PC possibly faster. And there's a lot of the older games that are PS4 games like knack. And you all named a whole bunch of them knack. And I know the new until dawn, it's coming to PC. Um, uh, the new Knights of the old Republic is going to PC. Um, so, I mean, again, I'm just, I think that you're just going to see a lot of their older games get ported over to PC. So, <laughs> so, um, Eric Ho for what? It's just let, not letting me download Game Pass games. It, it says, 
and I changed everything I could. I changed the storage routing. I I I use my E drive, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> And I looked up why it did. First, I thought it was a driver issue, but the drivers are up to date. So it's a pain in the ass. This is gaming update to Microsoft Store, maybe. All right. I thought I did that. I thought I did it. But okay, I'll try that. I'll try that. No problem. No problem. So I thought, see, I thought all that updated on its own, but this is the part of this is the part of PC. They don't they don't tell you about this part of PC. You gotta constantly update your drivers, update your drivers. So Gwendo, Google says error code means you're missing Windows security updates. Okay. Well, no, I'm not saying that that's not true. I, I'll try to go in and update them then. I wonder where those are at. Let me go to settings. Nope. Nope. Can't go to settings now. So, save. Uh, what is it? Windows. Oh, security system. Is that where it's at? Um... Uh, Oh, let's see here. App browse control, the setting to block potential. Maybe that's what it is. Let's turn that on. Everything's on. All right, well, I'll try it again because I did have app, app and browser control. Uh, I had that turned off. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, maybe that's what it was. We'll try it again. You can learn your motherboard's bio settings, then you can accomplish anything. And that's true, too. That's true, too. But remember, guys, remember that uh, PlayStation, smaller games, they're going to push the smaller stuff. Um, you have the bots defending 30 FPS again. I never thought I'd see today. Just never thought I'd see today when that happened. And uh, the showcase is a rumor that these guys are making up to make themselves relevant. I keep saying this to you all. Stop giving them money. Stop. <laughs> so... But all right, then, I'm going to get on off here. It's almost, it's going on 11, and I need to see if that update actually worked. So, uh, Wolverine, May, GTA. Well, yeah, the two games I'm looking forward to seeing the most is, is, well, three, Exodus, Grand Theft Auto, and Wolverine. But that's, and then, of course, you know, you got Death Stranding and all that stuff, Death Stranding 2 coming out. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that for me, that's just me personally. The Star Wars game, that makes five. So uh, the Concord game makes six, six. So again, me personally, I think that there's plenty, plenty to play. Now that's just my opinion, though. If, again, it's not a whole lot if you don't want to play those games. So, but all right then, I will talk to you all later during the week. I will be doing another Rumble podcast, and um, you all have a good one and take it easy. Peace out.